What's popping you? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, yes, although you may not be able to tell, this is a different place to where I usually make videos. We are in the bathroom, so sorry for the neck hair. Keen's just in the living, Keen's in the bedroom, Mum's in the living room, and I kind of need the white box because this is a Lego review. You can still get this on uh, Lego.com, Lego Shop at Home, and it is this Ninjaga minifigure pack from last season with the. Ice Emperor and the Fire Snakes. <laughs> Why is my tripod like? There we go. But yeah, uh, it comes with a little build. There. Alright, cool. So it comes with a little build and four figures, so I'll move the figures to the side for the moment. Yes, you can still see Kai's legs, but we'll focus on the build here, which does hold some fire to the side, some Iron Man energy pieces to the right and left, a nice shield on the front with a um, blue stud on it, and then some flame parts, nice like hieroglyphic like abelisk type build and there's a whip on the back which clutch powers uses so it's a really nice build overall very small pieces and this is a minifigure pack so the build is really not worth anything it's just like something to throw in there to entertain the kids but we're going to move on to the figures and we're going to start off with um kai because he's my favorite character so oh give me a sec Kai. Uh, yes, I do use these minifigure plates to twist my figures. But here we have Kai, who has that new-ish head wrap piece. A new shoulder pad piece, with which is a solid holder, but it has a shuriken on it. He does have the golden dragon running through his costume. Nice belt print, nice leg printing, torso printing. There is some back torso printing, which you can see when I remove his headgear and stuff. But his mask has some printing there, and he has a nice face print. Very common, the usual face print for Kai from the Lego Ninjago movie. But if we take his head off, and you can see the back of the bill, the back of his torso printing. Right there with the swirl of the dragon's tail, which continues to come onto the front. So swapping out the figures, we are going to move on to the fire serpent, who has some new pieces for me because this is my second fire serpent. And yeah, so we have this nice bronze armor and shield piece, which is really nice. And that armor piece does have a stud on the back, which I connected one of these triangle pieces to. Each of the villains have a staff with a lightsaber in black, but with a corresponding piece. Because these are fire snakes, they have a fire piece. Really nice reflection, which you can see. Um, they have some nice leg printing and a nice molded head with some translucent parts, with translucent eyes, translucent fire on the back. Still molded, which is really nice. And, um... Yeah, this is a really cool piece as well with two snake heads on the shoulders. Nice mummy wrap scales, I guess, piece. Don't really know what to call it, but fire, really nice. Mummy and scales, also pretty cool. Very epic. This wasn't my favourite season, it was probably the worst one. Uh, but the figures we get out of it are still pretty cool. And... Ooh, stupid tripod! Well, we'll just le move on from this character. I don't know what they're actually called, I kind of forgot, but that shows how interesting the season was. So, moving on to the next figure, um, which is the Ice Warrior. Um, he has a nice translucent, um, nice translucent, um, Shoulder pad piece, which is really cool. Pretty sure that's new for this Ninjago season. Uh, I live in the UK, so the new one hasn't come out. We're still on this season. 
uh, but he has this nice um, Iron Man blast piece as well as it is on the end of his staff. Nice tosser printing and leg printing. Uh, nice back tosser printing and he does have a more corrupted ice face on the back. Which is right there. The helmet doesn't block anything for this figure so it's very cool. But yeah, I think it's just a nice way, this set is a nice way to get the good guys and the bad guys. But we're going to move on to the last figure of the set which is an exclusive figure and I'm going to take away my custom build. I'll show you how to build that at the end. But here is Clutch Powers who has the... Batman belt in black, a nice printed torso, no leg printing, no arm printing, but that nice back torso printing and if you turn his hairpiece around, which is Lloyd's in black, you can see nice, um, he, he, he doesn't really need the eye patch and nice sideburns and a beard, but on this side he's more confident with his eye patch down, but that is it for the figures and build of the set, and we are going to move on to my custom weapon, which is used from spare bits. There is a pearl, two black lightsaber handles, which I've clipped to either side of the pearl. We got a spare translucent orange triangle, a spanner piece, a translucent blue stud with a hole in the middle where I connected fire, and it's a pretty cool fire staff, which you can hold in two hands, which I'll just get clutch power to do again. It's very simple design, but also very cool. Minifigure can hold it, pretty cool weapon. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing the next one, have a stay, and goodbye. See you in the next one. And stay home, stay safe. Sorry, this view, this, uh video is a bit of a shambles but yeah